everyone it's Claire back again we're going to have a look at some yellows today I know that you enjoy the compare and destashing videos so the thing is because I've only, I haven't got a massive amount of yellows not enough to break it up throughout the season so we're actually going to look at all of the yellow polishes I've got brights pastels right up to the kind of mustardy gold yellows and I think I've got I've got 16 of them so they will fit on this swatch wheel but it's one of those swatch wheels that's quite porous so I'll have to put a top coat on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be making any de-stashing decisions but um, there are a couple of comparisons so let's have a look. Okay so we're going to have a look at the creams and then later on we're going to have a look at the different finishes like holographics, flakies, crellies, shimmers, that kind of thing but we're going to start with Buttercup. This is Revlon Buttercup and it's a classic cream yellow. And it's actually got, as you can see, a pretty good opaque formula for this type of shade. Uh, I'm not applying it very well there, but it's, um, yeah, it's a very pale yellow. Actually, I have got, I picked this up ages ago and it's just been kind of hanging around. Um, if there's anyone in the UK who wants this, um, I'm happy to send it across to you. So leave leave a comment down below and let me know and I'll send this off to you. Um, so that is uh, Buttercup. And this is one of the Essence Colour and Cares. This is Lean On Me. And I think it's slightly paler than Revlon Buttercup, but let's have a look. Yeah. Definitely paler and again fantastic formula on all of the the polishes in this collection that just looks like a kind of creamy off-white now I've got some really bright yellows so this is from a soft pop collection and it's called lemon popsicle and it's a slightly green yellow pastel neon If you're into yellows and you like bright, summery neon pastels, this is a great one. So, so far, I'm not de-stashing anything. This came in a me box. This is called Louis Lemon, and it's such a bright neon yellow. Sometimes you get yellows that go into kind of greenish tennis ball yellow. I have actually got one of those in the, the section that we're going to look at with different finishes, but this is a very, very, very bright neon yellow oh so, yeah it's the only one I've got that's like this it's unique in my collection so I will definitely be keeping that one and then I'm going to move into these three look quite similar but again there are slight differences between them this is OPI's I just can't cope a cabana which a lot of people have recommended this so I picked this up quite recently uh, this is mellow yellow that was sent to me by Lisa and this one is an old favourite. This is Seven Dials that came in an old nail box a long time ago. I'm hoping that the formula is still good on this. So they're similar, but let's have a look at what they're like on the swatch wheel. This is I Just Can't Copacabana. This is more of a kind of custard bright yellow. Still bright, but not as bright as this one here. This is the this is definitely the brightest yellow that I've got. So that's the OPI. This is the classic mellow yellow, which I think came out around the same time as Pacific Blue, if not the same sort of collection. It's not a fantastic formula. It's not as good as the OPI. It's slightly paler. I mean, it's not awful. That's going to look great actually in two coats, but it just didn't. Sit. I don't know whether it's just the ones being really long on these brushes. I find it a little bit more difficult to apply, but um, I'm keeping it because that's such a classic yellow. Mellow yellow is a great formula and it is slightly different to the OPI. So let's have a look at the Nails Ink. This is Seven Dials. And this is a yellow that I think is one of the best formulas, almost a one-coater. It's such a bright yellow. I have had lots of different yellow polishes in my collection, but I've de-stashed them. 
and I've obviously kept the ones that I feel I can work with as a good formula and this one is fantastic so that is so that's seven dials from Nails Ink and then there are three polishes here that are very very bright um, a kind of sunflower yellow this one here is another model zone and this is called sarong wrap we've got a little bit of a kind of orange tangerine orange in these yellows so it makes them just a little bit brighter that sunflower kind of yellow and this one is an artist nails and this one's called banana smoothie i think this is going to be quite similar I, it, I think these two are probably going to be the closest comparison, but let's have a look. Oh, no, it is a lot darker. I'm not doing very well on de-stashing today, am I, at the moment? I'm keeping all of them. <laughs> Even though I don't wear yellow that often. I do, I don't know, I do wear it in the spring, make more pastel kind of yellows. And this one here is another one that I think was sent in a me box. This is... This is called Nothing But Sand. And again, this is more of a just tipping into the sort of mustardy type of orangey yellow. Actually, it does look a lot more orange on the swatch wheel compared to the all, all the other yellows. Uh, not the best formula. Is it a shade that I want to keep, though? I don't know. I'll decide on this one. That might This might be the only one that I end up de-stashing. Um, but I'll see what they're all like after a second coat. Okay, so now I'm going to have a look at my different finish yellows. I've got six of them. And I'm going to start with the brightest first, down through to the gold sort of mustardy type of yellows. This just looks like a tennis ball yellowy green to me. And this one's Endless, which was from an, the Neon and On collection from Pretty Perfect Polish. And this has got a silver shimmer. It, the formula's still okay, it's a little bit watery, but it still seems okay. It's definitely a neon, and it's different to this neon here. It's definitely more of a green in this. So that's Endless from Pretty Perfect Polish. And this one here is a recent pickup. It's absolutely beautiful. This is called What's Up Buttercup. And it's from Prism Polish. It's got these beautiful turquoise flakes. And my only yellow crelly, like true yellow crelly. Fantastic. And actually, it's one of the very rare polishes where somebody at work actually pointed it out and said, oh, that, that nail polish is great. Um, so that is What's Up Buttercup from Prism Polish. And then this is an Orly that I either George sent this to me or I picked this up from TK Maxx, but it's a yellow Orly with a pink flash in there, if you can see that. There you go. And this is called Melodious Utopia. So this is a really kind of unique polish. Yellow with a pink shimmer. So let's, oh yeah, you can definitely see that pink shimmer. It's quite sheer and needs to be built up. I think this is going to be sort of three coats. But hopefully you can see that pink shimmer there. It's actually quite pronounced. So I'm going to build that up, see what that looks like in three coats. That's Melodious Utopia from Orly. And then we get into the darker yellows. This is a real golden yellow and this is called... Don't hate the player, hate the game. And it's tipping into a kind of mustardy yellow. So these three are definitely the darkest yellows that I've got without really strictly being kind of gold. Well, there's, yeah, I think to me this looks more yellow than it does gold. But it's an absolutely beautiful holographic, linear holographic. So again, I'll build that up. That's Don't Hate the Player, Hate the Game from Arda's Nails. Another Arda's Nails. This is called Star Truce. And this was from a Christmas collection a couple of years ago. And it's a very kind of yellow, golden bell type of linear holographic. 
They're not quite as dark as Don't Hate the Player, Hate the Game. So that's a very pretty yellowy linear holographic. And finally, Cupcake Polish. This was sent to me by Nika and I've worn this a few times. It's a, a classic kind of autumn shade for me. And this is Not My Vault from Cupcake Polish. And it's a very dark, like burnt cheese, mustardy kind of yellow, very dark linear holographic. But it's a fantastic shade. So those are all of my yellow polishes. I'm going to put a second coat and a top coat on and see if I can bear to de-stash any of these wonderful polishes. Okay, so I have put a second and third coats on. I haven't put a top coat on actually though. They're still quite wet. I don't have a lot of top coat at the moment. So, But the second coats here and the third coats do give us a good idea. I, don't, I just love the look of this wheel. Um, I think I enjoy the colour yellow more than it enjoys me, but I'm, I am de-stashing some. Let's see if you can guess which ones. I'm actually keeping both of these. These are the two pale creamy yellows that I've got. I'm definitely keeping things that are unusual in my collection, so these two models own absolutely are staying. However, I think that the OPI and the Seven Dials very very similar to each other and I don't want to de-stash Mellow Yellow so of the three I am actually going to de-stash I Just Can't Copacabana. Not sure if I'm going to regret that but yeah I'm just not sure I really like this shade. It's the Leighton Denny. This is the Ardis Nails Banana Smoothie and this one is the model's own so I'm actually going to de-stash both of these um, and the the different finishes here, I'm not going to be de-stashing any of them. That's the Pretty Perfect Polish Endless, which just looks like a tennis ball. That's What's Up Buttercup from Prism Polish. And this is the Orly with, that's three coats on there. I'm hoping that you can see that pink shimmer because it's like a crushed flaky and you can really see it on the nail. Yeah, it's unusual. I'm keeping it. And these three as well. So I'm keeping the kind of mustard, autumn -y yellow. That's Don't Hate the Player, Hate the Game, Star Truce, and Not My Vault from Cupcake Polish. So, so I've actually ended up keeping 13 and I'm going to be de-stashing these three. Let me know what you think of yellow polishes. Have you been able to de-stash any yellows? What are your favourites? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!